Learn to design this milled block in FreeCAD by using the Shape Binder tool and the whole feature. First, create a new sketch on the bottom plane in the Part Design Workbench. Select the Centered Rectangle tool and start on the origin. Enter 50mm for the horizontal distance and press Tab to switch to the vertical dimension. Enter 30mm for that dimension and press Enter to apply. Now select the Circle tool. Draw a circle somewhere on the horizontal axis. Enter a diameter of 10 millimeters and press Enter to apply. Select the Line tool. Start drawing on the upper side of the circle and end on the vertical line. Do the same on the other side. Then select the Trim tool. Click on the inner part of the circle to cut that away. Do the same for this vertical line. Select the Dimension tool. Add a 20 mm distance to this horizontal line. The sketch is not finished yet. Click on this line and add a vertical constraint to it. Now click on this horizontal line and the arc. Then add a tangent constraint. Let's move some vertices to see where things are loose. Click on these horizontal lines and add an equal constraint. Now the sketch is fully constrained. Click on close to exit the sketch. Select the pad tool and enter a length of 8 mm. Also check reverse to extrude it to the downside. The top plane will then be aligned with the top of the object. Click on OK to apply. Now create a new sketch and select the XZ plane. Select the normal rectangle tool and draw a rectangle with the top on the horizontal axis. Enter 10 mm for the horizontal and 4 mm for the vertical distance. Select the Dimension tool. Click on the upper right vertex and drag the mouse to the upside. Click again and enter a distance of 10 mm. Then press Enter. Click on Close to exit the sketch. To create a cut, select the Pocket tool. Select Through All and check Symmetric to Plane. The cut will be made in two directions now. Click on OK to apply. Now select these three faces while holding Control. Then click on the Shape Binder button here. When you hide the model, you can see what you just created. Show the model again by clicking the eye icon next to it. The shape binder will be used in the next sketch that will be created. So create another sketch and click on the top plane. Hide the model again by clicking the eye icon next to it. Then click the external geometry button here. Select both lines and the arc of the shape binder. Select the Circle tool. Click on this center point and draw a circle that is bigger than the projected arc. Now select the Polyline tool and create the following shape. Right click twice to exit the tool. Select the Trim tool and cut the inner parts of the circle. Right-click to exit the Trim tool. Select this vertex and the vertical line and create a coincident constraint. Then select the Dimension tool. 
and create a distance of 2.5 millimeters between these vertices. Right-click to exit the dimension tool. You see, this part is not tangent yet. Click on the line and the arc, and add a tangent constraint. Now exit the fully constrained sketch. Consider subscribing if you like my content. Thanks! Let's show the model again and select the latest sketch. Click on the pocket tool. Enter a length of 2 mm and click on OK. Hide the shape binder. When the original sketch is changed, the offset will not change. Let's go to that original sketch by double-clicking it and change the arc diameter. The cut is smaller now, but the offset remains the same. Here you see what that looks like in the latest sketch. Let's change the original sketch to what it was. And thanks to the shape binder, the offset will not change. Now create one more sketch on the top plane. Select the circle tool and draw two circles. Right click to exit the circle tool. Select the two center points and also the horizontal axis. And add a symmetrical constraint. Then use the dimension tool to add a distance of 20 millimeters between the circles. Also add this horizontal distance of 5 millimeters. You can define the circle diameters, but it's not necessary when you use the whole feature. Click on close to exit the sketch. Select the whole feature and choose a regular isometric thread profile. Select M4 and change the depth to through all. Then check the threaded and model thread box. And click on OK to apply. Modeling the threads may take a while. But here they are. The model is completed, but keep watching if you want more. You might also want to check out my 3D printing channel. See you there.